Blackpink are the biggest girl group in the world, breaking records and shattering expectations. But Blackpink's journey to the top was anything but easy. This is the story of the rise of Blackpink. Blackpink was formed in 2016 by YG Entertainment, one of the biggest entertainment companies in South Korea. The group consisted of four members, Jenny, Jisoo, Rose, and Lisa. They were all trained in singing, dancing, and performing from a young age, and were chosen from a pool of thousands of applicants to be a part of the group. <laughs> Like any successful artist, Blackpink has faced its share of struggles and challenges throughout their career. Blackpink's members trained for several years before their debut, undergoing rigorous training in singing, dancing, and other areas in order to become polished performers. The training process can be grueling and intense, and many aspiring artists face setbacks and challenges along the way. Blackpink was originally set to debut in late 2015, but their debut was delayed until August 2016. Delays like these are not uncommon in the K-pop industry, but they can be frustrating for artists and their fans. As a K-pop group, Blackpink faced intense competition from other groups in the crowded and competitive K-pop market. In order to stand out and succeed, Blackpink had to work hard to develop a unique style and image and to make a strong impression on fans and industry professionals. Like any artist, Blackpink has faced criticism and negative feedback at various points in their career. Dealing with criticism and negative feedback is a challenge that all artists must learn to navigate in order to succeed in their careers. Blackpink has overcome these early struggles and has gone on to achieve great success and become one of the biggest and most influential girl groups in the world. Their hard work, dedication, and talent have helped them achieve their goals and achieve their dreams. Blackpink is unique because they were the first girl group in a long time to be formed by YG. And they were also the first mixed-race girl group in South Korea, with members hailing from South Korea, Thailand, and New Zealand. Blackpink made their debut with the single Whistle, which quickly became a hit in South Korea. But it was their second single, Bumbaya, that really put them on the map, reaching number one on the Billboard World Digital Songs chart and accumulating over 100 million views on YouTube within the first month of its release. Blackpink's success was not limited to South Korea. They quickly gained a massive international following, with their music and videos reaching millions of views on YouTube and streaming platforms. They also made their US debut with a performance at the Coachella Music Festival in 2019, becoming the first female K-pop group to perform at the event. Blackpink's rise to international fame was really impressive. They were breaking records left and right, and they had a huge, dedicated fanbase all around the world. They were also breaking barriers for K-pop and for girl groups in general. Blackpink continued to release hit after hit, with songs like Da Da Do Da Da Do, Kill This Love, and How You Like That all becoming huge hits and setting records on streaming platforms. They also made their Japanese debut and embarked on multiple world tours, performing to sold-out arenas across the globe. Despite their massive success, Blackpink faced their fair share of challenges and criticism. They were often compared to other K-pop groups and faced pressure to constantly release new music and content. They were also subject to intense scrutiny and criticism from the media and online commenters. Being in the spotlight is not easy, especially for young women. Blackpink faced a lot of criticism and negativity, especially online. But they were always professional and never let it get to them. They were always focused on their music and their fans. Blackpink also faced criticism for not being as involved in the writing and production of their music as other artists. 
but they addressed this issue in their 2020 single Bet You Wanna, which featured lyrics about taking control of their own careers and not letting others define them. Blackpink has faced controversy at various points in their career. Blackpink faced criticism for the use of cultural appropriation in some of their music videos, including the use of traditional Korean clothing and cultural symbols in a way that some people felt was inappropriate or offensive. Also, some of Blackpink's lyrics have been criticized for being violent, misogynistic, or promoting unhealthy behaviors. The group has faced backlash for lyrics such as I'm getting money, I don't need a man in the song da da do da da do, which some people felt promoted unhealthy relationships. Blackpink and individual members of the group also have faced controversy on social media, including instances of fan wars, cyberbullying, and inappropriate comments or actions. Blackpink also has faced legal issues at various points in their career, including a defamation lawsuit filed by a former member of the group and a copyright infringement lawsuit related to the use of a sample in one of their songs. It's important to note that not all of these controversies have been directed at Blackpink as a group, and some of the controversies may have been blown out of proportion or not fully understood. Nonetheless, Blackpink has faced their fair share of challenges and criticism throughout their career. As a K-pop group, the personal lives of Blackpink's members are often kept private in order to protect their privacy and maintain a certain image. However, some information about the personal lives of Blackpink's members has been made public through interviews, social media posts, and other sources. Here is some information about the personal lives of Blackpink's members. Jenny was born in South Korea and grew up in Auckland, New Zealand. She is known for her fashion sense and has been featured in several fashion campaigns. Jenny has also been in a high-profile relationship with fellow K-pop star Kai of EXO, but the couple has since broken up. Jisoo was born in South Korea and grew up in New Zealand. She is known for her calm and collected personality and is considered the visual of the group. Jisoo has not been publicly linked to any romantic relationships. Rose was born in New Zealand and grew up in Australia. She is known for her powerful vocal skills and has been featured as a solo artist on several tracks. Rose has not been publicly linked to any romantic relationships. Lisa was born in Thailand and moved to South Korea at a young age to pursue a career in music. She is known for her energetic and charismatic stage presence and is considered the main dancer of the group. Lisa has not been publicly linked to any romantic relationships. It's important to respect the privacy of Blackpink's members and not invade their personal lives. It's also important to note that the information available about their personal lives is limited and may not be fully accurate. Blackpink is known for their energetic and catchy music, which often incorporates elements of pop, hip-hop, R&B, and electronic dance music EDM. The group's music is characterized by strong vocals, catchy hooks, and energetic choreography, and their music videos are known for their visually striking aesthetics and elaborate production values. Blackpink's early releases, such as Whistle and Boombaya, were characterized by their upbeat sound and catchy hooks. Their later releases, such as Da Da Do Da Da Do, Kill This Love, and How You Like That, have incorporated more hip-hop and R&B influences and feature more assertive and confident lyrics. The group has also released several ballads and slower tempo tracks, such as Stay and As If It's Your Last, showcasing their versatility as artists. Blackpink has cited a variety of artists and groups as influences on their music and style. Blackpink has cited Destiny's Child as one of their biggest influences, citing the group's strong vocals and powerful stage presence as inspiration. 2NE1 was a popular girl group that was also signed to YG Entertainment, the same label as Blackpink. Blackpink has cited 2NE1 as an influence and has said that they looked up to the group as role models. Madonna is known for her bold and iconic style, and Blackpink has cited her as an influence in terms of fashion and performance.
Blackpink has cited Beyoncé as an influence in terms of her powerful vocals and stage presence. Lady Gaga is known for her unique and boundary-pushing style, and Blackpink has cited her as an influence in terms of fashion and performance. These are just a few of the artists and groups that Blackpink has cited as influences. It's likely that the group has been influenced by a wide range of artists and genres, and their music reflects a variety of different influences. Blackpink's music and lyrics often explore themes of self-empowerment, independence, and self-love. The group's songs often feature assertive and confident lyrics that encourage listeners to embrace their own strength and individuality. Many of Blackpink's lyrics focus on themes of female empowerment and encourage women to embrace their own strength and independence. Songs like Da Da Do Da Da Do, Don't Know What To Do, and Love Sit Girls explore themes of female empowerment and encourage listeners to embrace their own identity and worth. Blackpink's music often touches on themes of love and relationships, including both positive and negative experiences. Songs like Playing With Fire and As If It's Your Last explore themes of love and heartbreak, while Don't Know What To Do and Kill This Love delve into more complicated and tumultuous relationships. Blackpink's music often promotes the importance of self-love and encourages listeners to embrace their own worth and value. Songs like Love To Hate Me and Love Sit Girls explore themes of self-love and encourage listeners to embrace their own flaws and imperfections. Blackpink is a highly successful and popular group, and as such, they have been involved in a variety of brand endorsements and partnerships. Blackpink has worked with luxury fashion brand Dior on several occasions, including collaborating on a collection of sunglasses and appearing in fashion campaigns for the brand. Blackpink has also worked with luxury fashion brand Chanel, appearing in fashion campaigns and collaborating on a line of accessories. Blackpink has appeared in fashion campaigns for Yves Saint Laurent and has also collaborated with the brand on a line of cosmetics. Blackpink has worked with athletic brand Nike on several occasions, including appearing in campaigns and collaborating on a line of sneakers. Hey, Blackpink in your area? Blackpink has endorsed Samsung's mobile phones and other products in several marketing campaigns. Blackpink has endorsed Pringles chips in several commercials for the brand. These are just a few of the brands that Blackpink has worked with. The group has also endorsed a variety of other products and brands, including cosmetics, fashion and beauty products, and other consumer goods. Blackpink is known for their fashion sense and style, with each member having a unique and distinctive aesthetic. The group is often featured in fashion campaigns and has collaborated with various fashion brands. Blackpink's fashion style is often described as edgy and trendsetting, and the group is known for their bold and daring fashion choices. Blackpink members often experiment with a variety of styles, including streetwear, high fashion, and more traditional Korean fashion. In addition to their personal style, Blackpink's music videos and performances often feature elaborate and visually striking aesthetics, with elaborate costumes, sets, and choreography. The group's music videos are known for their high production values and often incorporate themes and storylines into their visuals. Overall, Blackpink's fashion sense and style have contributed to their image as a stylish and trend-setting girl group. Blackpink's career has been marked by a series of successful releases, including the hit singles Bumbaya, Playing With Fire, and As If It's Your Last, as well as the release of their debut extended play, Square One, in 2016. The group has also gained a significant following on social media, with over 50 million followers on Instagram as of 2021. In addition to their music career, Blackpink has also made appearances on television shows and in advertisements and have embarked on several world tours.
Blackpink continued to gain popularity and success in 2017. In February of that year, the group released their second single, Playing With Fire, which became another hit and helped solidify their position as one of the leading K-pop groups. In June, they released their third single, As If It's Your Last, which also became a commercial success and helped establish Blackpink as a major force in the K-pop industry. In addition to their musical career, Blackpink also made several television appearances in 2017, including on the popular variety show Weekly Idol. They also embarked on their first world tour, Blackpink 2017 World Tour, in your area, which took them to cities around the globe, including Singapore, Australia, Thailand, and the United States. Blackpink continued to experience significant success in 2018, with the release of several successful singles and the release of their first studio album, Blackpink In Your Area. In March 2018, Blackpink released the single Stay, which became a hit and helped establish the group as one of the leading K-pop acts of the time. In June, they released their fifth single, Dada Do Dada Do, which became an even bigger success and helped solidify Blackpink's position as one of the most popular K-pop groups in the world. The single broke several records and was a commercial success, with over 1.2 billion streams on Spotify as of 2021. In addition to their musical career, Blackpink also made several television appearances in 2018, including on the popular variety show Running Man. They also embarked on their second world tour, Blackpink 2018 World Tour, in your area, which took them to cities around the globe, including North America, Europe, and Asia. In 2019, Blackpink released the single Kill This Love, which became a global hit and helped to further increase the group's popularity. The group also embarked on their first world tour, Blackpink World Tour with Kia, which included concerts in Asia, Europe, and North America. In addition to their music career, the members of Blackpink have also appeared on various TV shows and commercials, and have endorsed a number of products. On April 22, it was confirmed the group would be working with Lady Gaga on her sixth studio album, Chromatica. Their collaboration, Sour Candy and it was later released as a promotional single. Sour candy, yeah, 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 yeah. On the Billboard Hot 100, the song debuted at number 33, giving Blackpink their first top 40 hit and becoming the group's highest charting song in the US at the time, as well as the highest charting song by a K-pop girl group. In Australia, the song debuted at number 8, becoming Blackpink's highest charting hit in the country. It was also their first top 20 single in the UK, debuting at number 17. Blackpink released their first Korean studio album, The Album, with Loves It Girls as its third and main single. Leading up to the exclusive video premiere of their music video for Loves It Girls, Blackpink appeared on YouTube's new original music show released as its first featured artist, which included unfiltered access moments of the group. The album peaked at number 2 on the Billboard 200 in the UK Albums Chart, making Blackpink the highest charting Korean female act on each. The album also set a first week album sales record for a Korean girl group, with 590,000 copies sold in just one day after the physical album's release. Blackpink became the first ever million selling K-pop girl group with the album, selling approximately 1.2 million copies in less than one month after release. Blackpink performed Loves It Girls on Good Morning America and Jimmy Kimmel Live in the United States on October 2021. On May 18, YG Entertainment announced the group would release a pre-release single in June, followed by an additional single release between July and August, to promote their first Korean studio album. Next month, YG Entertainment confirmed that following the release of the studio album, members Rose, Lisa, and Jisoo would release individual projects, with Rose S coming first. In the midst of the group's comeback preparations, YG Entertainment released a prologue of Blackpink's newest reality show, 
24365 with Blackpink, ahead of its launch on YouTube. The show documents their 2020 comebacks alongside sharing their daily lives through vlogs. The single How You Like That was heavily teased on social media in the lead up to its digital release. It peaked at number one on the JN Digital, Download, and Streaming charts for three weeks. How You Like That became Blackpink's fifth song to chart on the Billboard Hot 100, and its music video broke five Guinness World Records. The song ranked first in YouTube Music's global top 10 songs of summer 2020 and one song of summer at the 2020 MTV Video Music Awards, making Blackpink the first Korean female act to win at the award show. On July 23rd, YG Entertainment announced that a second single, Ice Cream with American singer Selena Gomez. Ice Cream debuted and peaked at number 13 on the Billboard Hot 100, making it Blackpink's highest charting song. Its debut at number 39 in the United Kingdom made Blackpink the Korean artist with the most top 40 hits in that region at the time. All I wanted was people to see the potential in us. The group's first documentary film, Blackpink, Light Up the Sky, premiered on Netflix and covered the four years since the group's debut in 2016. The documentary included footage from their training days, looks at their home lives, behind-the-scenes stories and interviews with the members, as well as glimpses into the making of the album. The commercial success of the album, combined with the group's Netflix documentary, resulted in Blackpink topping Bloomberg's pop star power ranking for the month of October, they were the first Korean artist to top the ranking since its inception in April of that year. Blackpink announced their collaboration with YouTube Music for their first livestream concert. The live event, dubbed The Show, was initially set to take place on December 27, 2020, but was rescheduled for next year, due to new COVID-19 pandemic regulations introduced in South Korea. The concert featured the first-ever live performances of several songs from the album, as well as of Rose's song Gone from her first solo single album R. More than 280,000 people purchased memberships to access the show, and the concert was live-streamed across 100 countries. Blackpink also released a Japanese version of the album, with Japanese versions for four out of the eight tracks, which peaked at number three on the Oricon Albums chart. To promote the album, they appeared on Japanese music television programs such as TV Asahi's Music Station. On August 4, a documentary film entitled Blackpink, the movie was released into theaters in South Korea and worldwide, which included exclusive interviews with the group as well as live performances from the show and the In Your Area World Tour. I really did try to pull my heart and soul into it. On July 6, 2022, YG Entertainment announced that Blackpink was in the final stages of recording for a new album, with plans to record a music video in mid-July and release a new song in August. They also confirmed that the group would embark on their second world tour at the end of the year. YG Entertainment revealed that Blackpink would hold a virtual in-game concert called The Virtual in PUBG Mobile, including performances of the group's hit songs as well as a special track titled Ready for Love to be previewed during the event for the first time. Ready for Love was released in full with an animated music video. On July 31st, it was announced that Blackpink would release a pre-release single titled Pink Venom, ahead of their second album, followed by an accompanying world tour, which began in Seoul and is expected to run through June 2023. Upon release, Pink Venom topped the Billboard Global 200 for two weeks, becoming the first number one song by a girl group as well as the first Korean song to top the chart for multiple weeks. Blackpink performed Pink Venom at the 2022 MTV Video Music Awards, making them the first female K-pop group in history to perform at the show, and won the award for Best Metaverse Performance for the Virtual. Blackpink in your area. 
On September 16, 2022, Blackpink released their second studio album Born Pink alongside a second single, Shut Down, which topped the Billboard Global 200 and peaked at number 3 on the Circle Digital Chart and number 24 on the Billboard Hot 100. Born Pink debuted at number 1 on the Circle album chart with 2,141,281 copies sold in less than two days of tracking and became the first album by a K-pop girl group to sell over 2 million copies. In the United States, Born Pink debuted at number 1 on the Billboard 200, the first album by a female Korean act to top the chart and the first album by a female group to do so since Donity Kane's Welcome to the Dollhouse. In the United Kingdom, Born Pink also became the first album by a K-pop girl group to reach number one on the UK Albums Chart. It marked the first time a girl group simultaneously topped the album charts in the United States and United Kingdom since Destiny's Child Survivor. On October 21, it was announced Blackpink would headline BST Hyde Park, making them the first K-pop act to headline a major UK festival. The group was named 2022 Entertainer of the Year by Time magazine. Blackpink has made a number of TV appearances over the years. Blackpink has appeared on various Korean variety shows, such as Running Man, Knowing Brothers, and Weekly Idol. Blackpink has performed on many music shows in South Korea, such as Music Bank, Inkigayo, and M Countdown. <laughs> Blackpink has appeared on talk shows such as Radio Star and Healing Camp. Some members of Blackpink have also appeared in TV dramas, such as Arthdale Chronicles and Snowdrop. Blackpink is known for their philanthropic efforts and support of various charitable causes and organizations. Blackpink has supported the UNICEF Schools for Asia campaign, which aims to provide education for children in need. The group has participated in various events and fundraising efforts for the campaign. Blackpink has also supported the World Food Program WFP, an organization that works to combat hunger and malnutrition. The group has participated in various events and campaigns to raise awareness and funds for the WFP. In 2020, Blackpink donated 100 million won, about $83,000, to the Community Chest of Korea, a charity that provides assistance to disadvantaged communities. Blackpink has also supported other charitable causes, including animal welfare and environmental conservation. Blackpink's philanthropic efforts have earned the group a reputation as socially responsible and committed to making a positive impact in the world. Their support of various charitable causes and organizations demonstrates their dedication to giving back and making a difference in the lives of others. Blackpink is a highly successful and popular girl group, and they have achieved numerous awards and accolades throughout their career. Blackpink has won numerous music awards, including the Golden Disc Award for Best New Artist, the Net Asian Music Award for Best New Female Artist, and the Soul Music Award for Best New Artist. Blackpink has set several records, including the record for the most views on a YouTube video in the first 24 hours with How You Like That, the record for the most views on a music video in the first 24 hours on YouTube with Kill This Love, and the record for the most simultaneous viewers on a YouTube live stream with the show. These are just a few of Blackpink's many achievements. The group has also garnered a large and dedicated fan base, with their music and performances reaching a global audience. Blackpink's success and achievements have solidified their place as one of the biggest and most influential girl groups in the world. Blackpink's impact on the music industry cannot be denied. They are the highest charting female K-pop group on the Billboard Hot 100 and have won numerous awards and accolades. They have also inspired countless other artists and have paved the way for more diverse representation in the industry. Blackpink is more than just a girl group. Blackpink has solidified their place in the music industry as a force to be reckoned with. With their unique blend of fierce rap verses, smooth vocals, and contagious pop hooks, they have captured the hearts of fans around the globe. 
From their explosive debut in 2016 to their record-breaking achievements today, Blackpink continues to break boundaries and pave the way for future generations of K-pop artists. Whether they're slaying the stage with their electrifying performances or spreading positivity and empowerment through their music and actions, Blackpink is truly a group that inspires and captivates. With the release of their highly anticipated first full-length album on the horizon, we can't wait to see what the future holds for these talented and unstoppable women. Until then, we'll be singing along to their infectious hits and cheering them on every step of the way. Thank you for watching our latest video. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you liked this video, be sure to hit the like button and leave us a comment. Have a great day. I love you.